I don't. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. What is that? Oh, are these people? They're glowing. Hello. A tourist. Uh, it's a crash test dummy. Wait. Do these guys change positions? Oh, jeez, they totally changed positions. Oh my gosh. Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays. Today we're going to play a game called Pacific Drive. This is a game that I've been super excited about playing for a while now. Now, I understand that's a little creepy and maybe spooky at some time, so maybe the younger kids stay away from this video. This is one to skip, but uh, I'm excited about it. From what I understand, you explore this area in the Pacific Northwest, and it's kind of creepy. Some weird things are going on, um, but it's supposed to be really fun, so I'm excited to get into it. Let's start up right now. Here we go. Explore Pacific Drive. We're going to start a new game. Here we go. Traveling. Let's see. Now, I don't know if I use my controller or a keyboard for this. It is on Steam. I got a free evaluation copy from Keymailer and from the developer. Thank you guys so much. I'm super excited about this. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off the, uh, a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Oh. <laughs> I don't think there's supposed to be like jump scares or anything, but uh, yeah. What happened inside was never disclosed. <laughs> I've seen a couple other YouTubers like Komodo playing it. Uh, it is, it's a driving game. So you drive around and it's also a survival game. So you kind of upgrade your car. Your car is like your base and you upgrade it along the way. JSS Express shipping manifest, stay on the roads. All right. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998. Sweet. Okay, so I can't use my controller here. South of the barrier wall. Let's go. Okay, yep, I'm steering. Okay, it's all first person. That's that's interesting. It's gorgeous. I love this. Oh, I don't know if I'm supposed to go. No, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. The sticky note said to stay on the roads anyway, right? <laughs> Sulfur and smoke glows through the snow. Smell I can turn on my wipers? Oh, it's starting to rain. That's why. Whoa! <laughs> All right, let's turn on the wipers. There we go. <laughs> I mean, I haven't really needed them much yet. Oh, here comes the rain. That's such a cool effect. Very atmospheric. Oh, uh, headlights. That'd be necessary. Here we go. Into the tunnel. I can turn off my wipers, though. I don't need those anymore. Not while I'm in the tunnel. Man, we're just driving forever here, aren't we? Oh, the radio. What happened to the radio? Oh, that's not creepy at all. Oh, there's a tree down. High R levels facility. Extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to gate C2B. Okay. All right. Well, the radio's not working anymore. And it's definitely dark. Uh, something ahead. Okay. All right. So I don't want to go. I, guess I can't go forward anymore. Another warning sign. All right, we got to go this way. Ooh. We're going to off-road it here, baby. Authorized personnel only. I'm authorized. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, what was that? That was creepy. Oh, there's more of that red. What is that? 
okay. We'll just keep on driving. There's more. It's, it's like a red glow, and then it goes poof when I drive into it. I, I don't know what it is. We're just going to keep on driving, though. Come on, keep going. I'm sure it's nothing. Nothing to worry about. We're just going to keep on driving. <laughs> yeah. Go faster. Go fast. Oh, my gosh. Um, That's a lot of red glow over there. I don't think I can. Oh, jeez. What happened? The car just died, didn't it? Oh, jeez. Okay, so now what? Oh, jeez. Um, 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 uh, no. Go. <laughs> well, I just got sucked into something. <laughs> Okay. Hi. It's so pretty. Uh, except for down here. It's kind of gross down here. <laughs> the Olympic exclusion zone. Okay, so I'm in the exclusion zone now. And uh, find transportation. Okay. That would be a floating tire. Okay, I can sprint with holding down the left stick. Is that an engine? That ah, would be an engine. All right. Is that like acid or ooze or something? I probably don't want to step in it. Oh, well, I guess I don't have a choice. And it's pretty much everywhere. Yeah, they included everything, including the kitchen sink. Hmm. All right. <gasps> nice box. And another kitchen sink. I don't know where I'm going. We need to find transportation, though. Can I jump? Oh, I can. I can jump right into that little sheet of plastic or metal. Yeah, that that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, maybe there's a car in this cave. Why not? It's all lit up. Oh, okay. B to crouch. Okay, we'll crouch. Jump. All right. Yeah, it's kind of more a tutorial here. And can I jump over this? Oh, I can kick it, though. Nice! <laughs> Hello? Hello? Oh. Hello, car. Is the car talking to me? Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Um, is the, like, literally, was the car talking to me? I don't know. Um, okay. Hello, car. Can I get in you? Mm hmm. I mean, this is a, a piece of junk. I tell you what. What am I supposed to do? Put the wheel back on. Okay, let's see. Find the wheel. Where's the wheel? I mean, there was like a bunch of them that were floating. There's a wheel. Okay, right bumper to pick it up. Okay. Oh, I got to hold it down. There we go. Okay, pick it up. Where? There we go. We'll install the tire. Nice. And yeah, we can get in. <laughs> All right. This car does not look as nice as my last car. Let's turn it on, though. Hey, it works. Get to safety. Hey, hmm. Oh, signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. All right. I don't know who's talking to me, but uh, they obviously know about me. Where do I go? I don't go that way. Hey, do you copy? Uh, how do I? Can I? Can I talk? No. They can talk to me, but I don't think I can talk to them. Ah, yep. There we go. But if they're stranded, could they mean they're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. Your <laughs> stability's closing. Thanks. And it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. Okay. 
Well, that doesn't sound fun. All right, we got to get to a few miles east. Find head east to find shelter. Okay. Uh, no, my little compass there. Okay. No, no, don't get stuck in the mud. No. Oh, what happened? Oh, I ran out of gas. Okay. I thought I was getting stuck in the mud. Uh. Ah. No. Wait. <laughs> I gotta put it in park. <laughs> Put it in park. <laughs> there we go. Stop. Oh gosh, it's <laughs> a lot to lot to know about driving a car. Apparently, but I haven't learned uh, a siphon gas. Get a fuel can. Where is a fuel can? Interesting. Okay, let me let me skim over here. Is there a fuel can in the trunk? No. I don't like this sound. Oh, there's rocks floating. That's why. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Where can I find a fuel can? Is there one? Check the trunk of my car for a fuel can. Let's see. Is that a fuel can? It is a fuel can. Got it. All right. Siphon fuel from the broken down car. Well, this is <laughs> this is definitely a broken down car. Uh, we'll siphon this gas. Right trigger to siphon it. Oh, good thing I don't have to suck it out with my own. Uh, <laughs> I've got a pump for it. <laughs> All right, got all the fuel that I can get, and I can fuel my own tank with it. Oh, man, I'm loving this so far. This is a great game. Fill the car. And we're filling it up. <laughs> Very atmospheric. I love the, the, the feel of this car, or this game so far. All right. Put it into drive. Go, go forward. No, no, no. Oh, no, go, go. I'm going. No, forward. Where are you going? Stop. Stop. No. <laughs> Drive. Go forward. Is the car not on? That's why. Now go forward. <laughs> the car wasn't turned on. Ah. <laughs> hey, go, 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 go. <laughs> there it is again. That flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that wave fall before, but where? Oh. All right, I'm out of the yellow icky zone. A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this breacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had work at wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. <laughs> okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ooh. First, Ooh. the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I I'm gonna, gonna drive right through this. Back, baby. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what a remnant is. But apparently I'm in one, and I need to get to safety. Uh, we're just gonna bust right through the fence. Come on, go, go, go! <laughs> nice! Go through the mud! Is this, uh, please tell me this is safety area here, huh? Huh? Opie's Auto Shop, okay. All right, I think, I think we're good, yeah? Uh, well, maybe, maybe. Where's the garage, actually? Let's back it up. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Oh no, no. I think I'm. I think I'm okay. All right. Let's put it in park. Good. All right. Now let's open up the door, and let's check out the auto shop here. Um. Man, this sounds so scary. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Oppie's Auto Shop. Find the breaker switch. Okay. Where is the breaker switch? On, off. Well, there we go. There's the breaker. And now we're open for business. God. Who's talking to me? Who is talking? Oh. Okay, well, let's pick up the backpack. Uh oh. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Uh, uh, right, <laughs> like I said, super official zone business. Protocol, uh, demands that you keep 
them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years <laughs> and 17 volumes and... Oh, tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Oh. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Well, all right. She's not very nice. Unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know exactly what all that was about, but apparently... Yeah, start the car. Okay, good. All right. It's funny. I put it into drive and yet I went immediately into reverse. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what all that was about, but apparently I need to put the car in the garage. Come on, let's go around over this way. Uh, I don't know if these people are like behind the wall, like on the opposite side of the wall, or if they are like on the bad side of the wall, or if they're on the good side of the wall and trying to get me out of the bad side of the wall. I don't know. I can't tell. All right. I think I'm here. Put it into par park, and we'll turn off the car, and we'll get out. Okay. Okay. Are, are we not here? I think we're here. Drive the car into the auto shop. Maybe I'm, I didn't go forward enough. Let's try this again then, huh? Yes. Okay. To add to your to-do list a crude door. Okay. Uh, where, where's a door? Oh, open up. Nope. Open up my headset. Ah, okay. Crude door. I can add that pin to checklist with Y. Okay, done. Uh, and then craft a replacement door. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Okay, so I've got some things that I need to get. Uh, it looked like there was like screws and stuff like that. Let's open this up. Uh, huh? Oh, I need a pry bar. Okay, all right, all right. Let's get a pry bar then. Uh, out of the toolbox. And there's my toolbox. Uh, what all did that have in it? What is this thing? This is a mechanics kit. Okay. And it had a pry bar as well. All right. Uh, and I need to equip the pry bar. Let's look at my inventory. And let's bring it. How do I equip it? Nope. Nope. Ah! Come on. Inventory. Equip with Y. There we go. Equip the pry bar. Pry open the trunk with... Like, there we go. Got it. Done. <laughs> what all is in here? A bunch of stuff. Road flares. Glass. Well, I guess we'll take the road flares. Do we need glass? I guess maybe we do. We'll take it all. All right. Glass shards. Road flare. Gather items from the abandoned car's trunk. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items. All right. Where's the dumpster? Hello, dumpster. Nope. That looks like a dumpster to me. Uh, oh, well, this is also a dumpster. A friendly dumpster. I don't know what that did. <laughs> uh, hmm. He is a friendly dumpster. He's talking to me. That's... I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> scrap the bed and cars, wheels, panels, and doors. Okay, we'll do. Let's scrap it. Um, How do I scrap? Oh, there's a scrapper on the floor right here. Well, let's pick that up, shall we? All right, got it. Now... Uh... How do I equip it? Like that. There we go. Now can I? There we go. That that was effective. <laughs> Let's pick her up. 
Uh, shall we? Okay, so right button. Okay, puts it right into my my box or my backpack. That's nice. Okay. Uh, now can I? I'll take some fuel out of here, right? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. We'll get some fuel. We'll pump it right on out. Get all the fuel from the tank as we can. Nice. And then we'll equip the the scrapper again. <laughs> Very nice. So we're just getting just scrapped stuff here. Scrap metal, duct tape. More duct tape. I don't think I can get that box that's there, no. Okay. How about this door? We'll get this door. Done. More scrap metal. And how about this tire? I don't want to like pop the tire or anything like that. I can get the fender. More duct tape. Okay. All right. All right. But how do I get the tire off? I wonder. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to figure that out later, I guess. Because now we can come over here to the crafting bench and we can craft a door. Yeah, a crude door. There we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. A crude door. Install the crude door. Okay, we'll put it right there. Done! Repair the p car with putty from the locker. Okay, let's find some putty. Here's the locker right here. Let's open her up. All right. Uh, and we need to find some putty. How do we get to the putty? Equip. I need to equip it. All right, go into inventory. This is all just a kind of learn as we go kind of stuff. Repair putty. And let's put it in my hands. Aha, there we go. Oh, I put the spare tire on the ground. Okay, now. Use it to repair the car. How do I do that? Oh, all right. So the steel panel, I can repair it with. Right trigger. Just flop it on there. Why not? And done. All right. Can I repair anything else? Oh, this needs to be repaired. <laughs> yeah, why not? We'll repair that one too. Right, let's repair the panel. The bumper looks like it's missing. That door is good. This door needs to be repaired. Oh no, my putty, it's almost gone. Okay, good. That's all repaired. That's all repaired. One headlight. Let's refill it. Shall we? Add some more fuel from that we siphoned off there. It looks like I'm almost done with repairing it. I need a little bit more repair to be done. I don't know where it would need to be repaired at, though. I need an, a panel back here. I need a fender. Do I need to craft a fender? Because it looks like everything else is fixed. Oh, there we go. Crude bumper. Let's... Fix that bumper. I love how I can just slop some putty on it and it fixes it. All right, fix the flat tire. Let's see, we'll scan it with my eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, scan. Okay, repair the flat by uh, crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Well, here's the spare tire right there. So let's let's just replace it, shall we? Um flat ceiling kit. I don't think I have a ceiling kit, do I? Yeah, I don't see a ceiling kit. So we're going to have to uh we're going to have to pick this spare tire up. Warning inventory full. Oh no. Well, uh, how do I drop something? Shall we? Ah, uh, X. Okay. We'll pick that up later, but for now, we need to pick up the spare tire. Oh, hey, what? I know it's full, but it's okay. Repair putty drop. Aha! I just have to hold down the button. There we go. Okay. And then... <laughs> I threw the tire at it. Okay, let's take it off. There we go. I took it off. And then we'll just drop it right here. How do I drop it? Drop it, drop it, drop it. <laughs> I'll throw it. That'll work for me. There we go. Picked it up. And let's put it on. There we go. Fixed it. Fixed the tire. Now, uh, can I pick this one up? 
I can. Okay, and then I want to put it in the back here. So if I do find a, uh, uh, I just want to put it here. Keep, yeah, that didn't work. Okay, scan the loose wheel. So I have a loose wheel over here. So let's scan this. Okay, it's loose. Fix it with the mechanics kit. Okay, and I have a mechanics kit. It's in my inventory. Uh, I need to equip it. Done. All right, and then I should be able to fix it. <laughs> I just kind of bonk on it, right? All right, outfit the car. How do I outfit the car? Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Okay. I'll pick these up. And we'll put them in the trunk. Done! <laughs> I don't think I needed a uh, an air ratchet to, to put in some boxes in the trunk, but, you know, whatever. Install a craft mat in the trunk. All right, let's find a craft mat then. Where's the craft mat? Uh, okay, there it is right there. Craft mat. Install it in the trunk. Ba-bam! Done! Oh. <clears throat> There's a little prototype of mine in the garage the arc device hook it up to your car wherever it'll fit okay hook up the arc device let's uh open up the door and eh, it'll be my partner in the uh passenger seat why not the arc device looks like it's a gps system this huh beauty won't just be your tour guide it's your north star and the only way back to safety heck you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Okay, pick up the gear blueprint by the garage. Okay, so blueprints done. Oh, well, hello. I just got a blueprint. Impact hammer blueprint. Very nice. Refuel my... And now... Oh, okay. Here we go. It's... Wow. A whole gas pump, even. We'll pick it up. And we will refuel the car. There we go. All the way done. Let's put it back, shall we? Throw... Okay, let's see. Align the car with a charging station in the parking bay. All right, done. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Okay. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. Projector against the wall. That? No, that. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does, constantly. Okay. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay, interesting. So, I need to select a destination, so I want to come here. It says three hours okay, to get no. there. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay, so I guess I've got a route to get to this new stable area, apparently. Perpetual stability there in that area. And I think I've got everything that I need, I guess. Let's jump in the car and go see where we need to go. And then it says my arc device will tell me where to go, huh? Let's see. Oh, there's roads and everything all mapped out for me. That's kind of nice. Oh, we're back out here. So now it seems like to me that the uh, that we are actually in the exclusion zone. So we're in the area where 
all the bad stuff has happened. And there's some people that are living apparently in the bad zone um, where bad stuff has happened. Uh, it, it, where there's instabilities and things like that. And but then there's pockets of stable areas. And I don't know what just happened. Where am I going? Yes, go here, please. Travel. Oh, okay, that's where we're going. So it's like a quick travel. Okay. Okay, radio station residential damp forest outer zone. It's in perpetual stability, okay, which is good. Really? I'll keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay, well, there's an antenna right in front of me. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator, and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay. I don't like that sound. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. This looks like a plasma generator here, maybe. Plasma generator. What do you know? Let's let's scan it. All right. Now, what do I do with it? Looks like it's ripe for the picking. It sure does. Get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. All right. How do I do an impact hammer? Add to my list. Okay, let's do that. Add an impact hammer to my list. Done. And so what do Find I need? Those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Okay. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just <laughs> loot away. Just loot away. <laughs> all right. So she gave me free reign to take whatever I want. That's, that's nice. <laughs> uh, let's see what's inside the crate. Oh, we got some gear. Let's see. What are, what is this? Uh, we'll take it all. We'll take it all. Look at you. Out in the zone all on your own. They huh. grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be <laughs> back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Oppie. Okay. So I'm just kind of picking up stuff, looting things, and I need to I need to gather and craft a light, a sodium vapor light. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a light. Uh, apparently there's no, that light bulb is out. And this one is locked. And it's heavy duty. Recommended tool hands. Locked fix with an impact hammer. So I still need to get that impact hammer. How? Search structure to scrap cars to find the things on your crafting list. I don't know what all I need for the crafting list, but I do see a car that I can scrap. Now, I assume that this, uh, this scrapper has some durability to it. It looks like it does, which is fine. I get it. Oh, there's not much to, to siphon here, but we're, we'll siphon what we can get. And we'll scrap the other door. So yeah, this is kind of like a survival game. Uh, in that you're, you know, you're scrounging for resources, kind of like Minecraft or Anything like that. You're looking, instead of punching trees, I'm scrapping cars. Okay, apparently I've got everything that I need to assemble my impact hammer. So let's hey, come. Uh, uh, driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. 
They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. <laughs> okay, let's see. I was making an impact hammer. Did I make an impact hammer? I did. Okay, and then now let's... Oh, and that's, it's in my hand already. And then we need to get the plasma out of here. Oh, I've, I'm worried this is going to bust. It's going to break, right? It's in a hammer. Well, it busted. I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. All right, so I got the plasma out of the plasma generator. So uh, what she was saying was that... Or no, what the guy was saying was that uh, now I'm me and the car were inseparable. And uh, there's nothing that uh, I can do about it. We're going to have to travel together for now. I don't know if the car is like alive or what the deal is. And bam, the door is open. Uh, is there a flashlight? Do I have a flashlight? I can't see anything. Oh, well. Let's take everything out of here. Inventory full. Oh, no. Well, I need to go figure out how to put stuff in my trunk of my car here is what I think I need to do. Man, you just can't see anything in there. I need a flashlight. Let's let's come back over here. We'll put some stuff in the inventory of the car. I don't like that noise. Uh, oh, that perfect. Okay, let's transfer. Oh, that is so convenient. Thank you very much. And we'll keep the fuel and then and, yeah, and the first aid kit. Yeah, that looks all good. Okay, good. That's easy and convenient. I love it when inventory management is convenient. I don't like that sound. It's like Siren Head or something. Ugh. Oh, hello, Impact Hammer. Can I have you back, please? Thank you. And we'll take that. And we'll take all this stuff. Even though I can't see anything. And let's see what's in here. We'll take all of that. A computer, anything I can do with it? Nope. I'll just scrap it. I think that's everything that's in here. Now, I still need... Oh, here's some more. What is this? Oh, it's locked. Uh, a pry bar will help with that. All right, let's use the pry bar then. Done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, let's take that and that and that and that. And I guess that's everything. Okay. Now, I still need, like I said, I need four more plasmas, but perhaps there's more uh, places to get them. So we should probably continue down the road. For now, though, let's come back here to this and we'll transfer everything over. Oh, that is so convenient. I love that. Okay. Let's get in the car. What's that? What's the honk honk? What does that mean? All right, and we'll drive on. Collect materials and craft replacement parts. Okay, well, I guess we'll do that later. For now, let's just keep driving on and see if we can find some more plasma, shall we? Yeah, hello. Who are you and what are you doing? I, I don't like you. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't like you. Don't scrap me, please. Oh, he doesn't like me either. Um, what, what, what? Uh, hello, no. No, thank you. No, thank you. Where are you taking me? 
Ah, drive away! Drive away! <laughs> okay, good. Look, here's some more plasma over here. I hope that guy's not following me still. It's zapping me. Why is it zapping me? It's all zapping me. Is it supposed to be zapping me? <laughs> Maybe the car takes the charge for me? What is it doing? Ah, oh, there's all kinds of plasma arcs back there. Let's see. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, like, terribly bad. Oh, no, it's doing bad things. I see. Okay, yes, it's doing bad things to my car. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see, can we assign to quick slot? Oh, that's very nice. Okay, let's assign it to, there we go. Okay, assign to that quick slot. Perfect, okay. So I've got my hammer assigned. If this thing zaps me, is, am I going to die? Hopefully I can get in here and... Uh, nice, and that took it out. Oh, good. Oh, that's someone so nice. Okay, let's let's do that again. Uh, great, it's raining. I'll come back and get all this scrap later. Because it looks like I'm going to have to, like, fix up my car because my car's getting thrashed over there. But we're going to come over here. We'll impact hammer this thing and, uh... Oh. Nice! Got it! Okay, good. And it's no longer zapping. And then we need to get another one over here, too. I don't know what that is. I don't know! I don't like it! I don't like it. Me no likey. Me no likey getting zapped. <laughs> okay, come on, come on. Got it. Nice. Oh, all right. Whew. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. Okay. Locate the radio station now. Uh, it says gather and craft some replacement parts. Let's see what I can uh, actually craft here. Uh, a first aid kit, pry bar, scrapper. So I can, I can uh, do another, make another scrapper if I need to. Uh, I need some more gears if I want to make another impact hammer. How about repair putty? Okay, good. I've got enough stuff to craft a repair putty. Let's do, let's do two repair putties. Maybe I need a mechanics kit? I don't know. Let's, let's just make one just in case. A ceiling kit. Uh, I don't know what that does, but we'll make one anyway. Okay. Now I've got all this stuff. Let's, uh... Jeez, oh, I don't like the weather either. My tires are all good. My my panels are getting a little beat up, though. I think because that machine over there is... Beating up on me. Now let's, uh... Let's see. What do I need? I need the putty. Let's equip the putty. How do I equip? Equip with Y. Okay, God. Got it, got it, got it. And then, yeah, just slap some putty on everything. Repair my car. <laughs> Is that it? I'm all out of putty? Okay, well, we'll come back here. We'll look at this. Done. Okay, so I think we're good on gas. And that car is done. Let's continue on. We got to find some of the radio station here, huh? Oh, all right, all right. I'm going to have to gather and craft some replacement parts eventually. But for now, let's just continue on our way. Yeah, let's look at our... Yeah, what's this? Oh, okay, so this is... I don't know what that is. Oh! <laughs> Gas overlook camping. Okay, so there's a fuel station up here, apparently. So we're all right. We're on the right path. My little map is telling me. I, I'm going to stay away from this guy because he's a jerk. No, sir. I do not want any part of you. You go away, please. Goodbye. I'll see you later. Never. Now, there's some cars here I could probably scrap, but I really don't like these guys, so I'm going to stay away from them. No, go, 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 go. No, 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 no. 
Drive! 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 No! You leave me alone! No! No! Whoa! Ah! Crunch into the trees! Golly! You are a jerk! You know that? All you did was ram me into the trees! Gosh! Okay, so I know that these antenna things over here, they don't like me. So we're gonna- we're gonna put it in park. We're gonna get out the impact hammer and we're gonna bust this sucker up. Ba bam Nice! No more antenna for you. Now, let's- let's check. There's a, uh, a camper here, a trailer. And it's got a plasma guy. We'll take this plasma. Hopefully that jerk with the suction cup doesn't get me. Yeah, <laughs> pop open the door. We'll check everything and loot it all. That's not a good sound. Oh, he's out there. He's like, oh, dude, what are you doing here? Don't mind me. All right, let's get out of here, shall we? These guys are so annoying. Go away. All right, continuing on to our destination, <laughs> which is I don't know where. I think it's more antennas, I think is what it's supposed to be. Downed tree. Oh, that radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. Yeah, but what's that? Oh, are these people? I don't. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like this. What is that? What is that? And then there's like people over here. What is going on? Oh. And then there's a house. Do I want to go investigate the house? I can't. I think I kind of do. I don't like those people though. Okay, look. Let's let's stop. Let's put it in park. Oh. Oh. Let's check. What is that noise? All right. What's in the crate? That thing. What is that thing? Is it going to hurt me? It's an anomaly. A bollard. Oh, it's just a ball. It's just a bollard. That's a weird bollard and it's in a weird place. These guys are weird too. They're glowing. Hello. A tourist. Uh, it's a crash test dummy and it's a tourist. Oh, jeez. What do I... I can take a photo with them? How do I take a photo with them? Jeez, that bollard scares the crap out of me. <laughs> it scares the bollard out of me. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do with these guys. You stop that. Can I jump up on top? No. Wait. Did these guys change positions? <laughs> oh, jeez, they totally changed positions. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like you guys. Can I scrap you? Oh. Oh, he blew up. And he hurt me. And I need to use a healing item. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a door. Do that, Pollard. <laughs> okay, it's a pry bar. I need to use a pry bar. Let's use a pry bar already. Got it open. Okay, good. Oh. <laughs> Let's pry bar again. Eh? Yeah? Is it gonna open? No, it broke my pry bar. 
Recommended tool hand. I don't have any tools. Uh, what can I do with my hands? Hmm. Hmm. Might need to make another pry bar, I think. Is there anything else in here? Dude. <laughs> All kinds of clothes in the dresser. That's great. Hello, phone. Oh, just the scrapper can bust up on the phone. Uh, can I? Yeah. Oh, then my scrapper just broke. Okay, well, I need to go make another pry bar and another scrapper. Those guys. Mmm, those guys. And I need to use my medical kit. Oh, there's my health up there. 30%. Okay. Oh, jeez. All right, let's see. Let's see. First of all, let's put all that stuff back. And then I have this medical kit. Let's... Can I use it? Yes. Use first aid kit. Hold it down. 30%. Okay, good. And it's going on up. 40%. Well, we're good. We're good. All right, now I need to come over here. Let's craft... Let's craft a pry bar, shall we? And a scrapper. Done and done. All right, let's come back to this chest and use the pry bar. Jeez. Oh, is it open already? Oh, it's open. Jeez. Okay, thanks. Gah! <laughs> I think that's all that's in this house. All right, so... I'm guessing that these creepy dudes and that bollard are going to prevent me from doing going places like they're, they're just kind of like they're like creating a, a wall or a fence around the gas station. Hello. Start the car, please. There we go. Okay, good. So I don't want to run into those people because I think they blow up when I do. That bollard is going to pop up, though, if I run over it, right? Ugh. Creepy game. <laughs> okay, here's the gas station. I think I'm good on fuel, but just in case, we'll stop here. Put it in the park. No wipers. Turn off the car. No wipers. Let's get out. How many bollards are there? Bollocks. No, don't do that. There we go. Yeah, didn't need much fuel. That's okay. That's okay. Oh. I think I need the impact hammer for this, right? Recommended tool, impact hammer. Okay. Kabam! There we go. This is just the bathroom. Why did they lock the bathroom anyway, huh? Wow, all the shelves are completely bare. What do you know? Uh, get the TV, all the electronics and the scrap parts from it. And we'll jump up, see what's behind the counter, huh? I hear a bunch of those ball, ball, ugh, those ball, ballards. I can't talk. Cash, please? No. There's a backpack. Ooh, what's this? Duct tape? Cans. Can't do anything with those cans. I, I can look in the backpack. Got it. Whew, okay. I feel like I can breathe a little bit again. I don't know why. It's just because I'm inside, I guess. And that's just the back door. Is this a friendly trash can? Hello, friendly dumpster. Oh, you've got all kinds of junk in you. <laughs> oh, this game is so creepy. Okay, let's see. We got a ways to go here before I can get to my antenna. Let's just keep going. We'll go around the little rock slide area here. Now, I can see on my little panel right here that I've got some missing a fender. Like, I'm missing a fender, missing a back door, missing a front fender. Crunch. <laughs> so, I definitely need to stop and craft some extra parts here soon enough. All right, I think I'm heading up to the antenna. Getting close anyway. Oh, yeah, there it is right up there. Hopefully there's no bad guys up there. I think I've got enough materials to survive for right now. But definitely after we get this antenna up and working, I'll have to fix up my car a little bit more. Okay, let's see. Broadcast transmitter. Put it in park and turn off the car and get out. 
All right, what do we got going on over here? Uh, all right. Broadcast. Time's been moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. Uh oh. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. Uh -oh. That's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Oh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. <laughs> okay, uh, so I don't know what to do with this broadcaster. Use the arc device. Okay, for now, let's put the broadcaster in here. Yeah, and we'll transfer everything over to the storage. And then let's look at the, bro the arc device. Use the arc device map to locate and drive to an anchor site. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, is this an anchor device? Okay. It says show legend. Let's see. Legend anchor signal. Yeah. Okay. So that's an anchor signal. So let's uh, let's go back here. And I think we'll go to this one. This one looks like a big anchor. And it's close. Ugh. What? Drive to an anchor site. Okay. So here we are. We're at an anchor site. Collect, uh, take the anchor. Okay. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. <laughs> Gosh. What? What is going on? These bullards. They're they're totally messing with me here. Let's drive forward just a little bit. Huh. Okay, I picked this up. I got it. Now what do I do with it? Oh, I put it here. Right? Oh, there we go. Right trigger. There it is. Okay, it's there. Uh okay, and now You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Okay, so now I just kind of... I drive here, link gateway, okay. Select the gateway Select the gateway coordinates on the map. I'm trying, oh there. And then let's, let's get out of here, shall we? Oh, thank you. The storm is clearing. I can turn off my wipers and we're just going to drive off road. Uh, what? I feel like there's something I'm missing here. Okay. So wait, hang on. Wait, wait, put it in park. All right. Now, what do I do to activate this? Oh, link gateway. Oh, there we go. Okay. Storm warning drive. Uh. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Okay, so I have to activate it, and then I can drive into the into the white pillar of hot death. <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Don't slide around, car. All right, so we're going into this thing. Come on. Oh. <laughs> wow. And we're back at the garage. Oh, man, what a ride. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. 
That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. Clear. Uh, clear as mud. <laughs> okay, so we're back and it looks like we have to assemble an antenna. Oh man, you know what? I, I think actually this is a good time to take a break. Next episode, we'll come back over here and we'll, uh, we'll assemble the antenna and we'll head back out into the zone. Wow, man, I'm excited about this game. This game looks really, really fun. Uh, it's interesting. It's not exactly what I expected. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Be sure to check out the next episode when it comes out. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side. Later, everybody.